Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel in case you're new here. Hi, my name is Abasha and welcome to the Slay Squad. This week's video is one of those videos that will be filmed over a couple of days, but you guys get to see it as one video. It's going to be a long video probably for those of you who prefer longer videos and it's a get ready with me for a shoot. So I decided I'm going to be doing themed shoots um ever so often and for this month i went with a floral shoot to go for um to go with like the whole valentine's thing i didn't want to do something full on red so i thought floral will bring the valentineness out of everything um i don't know if i've mentioned but i'm vlogging on my phone because i forgot my camera and for today the shoot is next week on wednesday today is on thursday so i'm here at foina nail bar i'm going to get my nails done so i just had normal gel polish um done before and what i'm going to do right now is this the stick on nails from bosch trip i'll leave it linked down below in the description so this is the before and morning vlogging on my phone once again i never used to understand vloggers who have a whole camera and then you're still picking up your phone but i get it convenience <laughs> convenience convenience basically um so we went with you guys last time to do my nails and today we're going to do hair i'm going to luxury hair by angie my hairstylist owaga she's the one who does my relaxed hair stuff so like relaxing it and uh, doing treatments and stuff so today i'm going for a braiding session we are doing the assignment <laughs> the assignment is um not less box braids i've tried i've tried this hairstyle before and i think i vlogged it it was at a different salon they were bohemian granted cute little bohemian um box braids but with a bob i'll insert a picture somewhere here because i know my words are just scattered everywhere so today i don't want them bohemian because i think that's the part that ruined the hairstyle last time not come out exactly how i wanted it um yeah so here is two fingers crossed <laughs> that we get uh the assignment this time but oga oga is cool oga i'll understand the assignment Oga, and then I come back here with a not so bob <laughs> braid. Um, but yeah, let's go see what we come up with. back with the hair when i tell you guys waga understands the assignment always always i would have loved to go shorter but my hair um is a bit too long at the back so this is what we're working with um back in the car as you guys can see on our way to house of leathers that i can get flowers i think i mentioned that it's a floral themed shoot so i need flowers um the hairstylist has said that the fake flowers work better so i want to go and see what type of fake flowers house of leather have if that's not an option then we will have to just pick up like real flowers tomorrow morning on our way to the shoot flowers secured and we are back home um because i'm actually very extra and i'm obsessed with planning things out i actually did like a powerpoint with um the ideas that i had for the shoot that i can share them with the makeup artist the stylist and the hairstylist as well i've secured the flowers it was so expensive i mean i guess they will last me for forever so i can keep and reuse for future shoots and even um like projects that i might have at home so yeah let me show you how these look all right so we have these four batches because we're going to be taking four pictures that's eight pictures in total this one we're going to do like a top with this and then this ones we're going to do in my hair they don't match we're going to pick different ones for the hair this one one of it is going like over my eye and then the rest of my makeup will be red as well 
this ones are my favorite look at how pretty these are oh my god and they feel so nice this this actually believable out of everything i got here this and this as well also feels real um yeah so this the makeup artist um i guess we'll figure out how to arrange them on my body and in case i need something to match and hold on to as a top this will um go there as well and then this is a single one because the hairstylist has a bunch of them so we're going to put them on my hair this style is like an afro with a bunch of flowers in there so yeah let me pack up and i'll see you guys in the morning good morning back to filming on the camera i have so much psych so much energy <laughs> For a person who is really not a morning person, I don't remember the last time I had to wake up this early and we were not catching a flight. Um, yeah, I literally just woke up. Yes, I slept in my two cut ears. It was actually surprisingly comfortable. But yeah, let me freshen up and then we shall speak. If only it took such a short while to get ready, but it did because I didn't have any makeup to do. I put my hair back in this headband because of makeup. I want to give the makeup artist enough room to work, have on just a simple wrap top so that I can be able to take it off after my makeup is done. And speaking of makeup, Maybelline Matte Ink Lipsticks are turning five this year. Can you believe it? Five years of awesomeness. And let me tell you, if you want an affordable lipstick that is top notch, that will last you the entire day, look no further. Maybelline Matte Ink Lipsticks will do it for you. Maybelline really have the most affordable, best lipsticks and mascara and foundation actually as well. I think those are like my top three picks. Any beginner who asks me, what should I get? I'm just wanting to start makeup. I always recommend Maybelline Matte Ink foundation and mascara so to celebrate um five years i have five of my favorite matte ink lipsticks that i'd like to share with you guys um let me just show you they're down here here we go so these are my five favorite and sometimes i pair them with lip liners so i just laid them on here so that i can do a wear test for you guys so first off we have um, a voyager voyager is a really beautiful red this is my all-time favorite red lipstick from uh, maybelline if you want a true red i'd recommend pioneer but for me i like it maroonish so this is what i go for number two we have escapist and i used to wear this shade a lot in high school especially this is for days when you just want a deeper color i it's it's like a really dark purple there's actually a darker one than this one so this one is like not too extra you can do it for every day compared to the other one that's a bit darker than this one that i feel like works better for night time then the best way that i can describe mover is that it is a nude lipstick with purple undertones it's really nice and subtle if you don't want to do the most if you prefer toned down looks then a mover is a lipstick for you and next up we have globe trotter globe trotter is truly the most flattering orange lipstick on my skin shade it's when i want to do something different that's not necessarily a nude because you guys know i do a lot of nude lipsticks so yeah this is what i go for when i want nude but a bit extra then finally we have artist i know i know i'm shocked as well <laughs> that we have a pink as one of my favorites because i did have a couple of more to pick from in my collection but i went with pink because for days that i just want to feel pretty and extremely girly this is the color that i tend to pick up Future Maxine here just to let you guys know that all Maybelline lippies will be 40% off on the Jumia website and to sweeten the deal even more I have a Jumia discount code so you guys can save your coins even further. All details will be in the description box. So now that we are all packed up let's go and have an amazing shoot day. Mm -hmm. 